Peace be with you all. So first, you know, this award was given to me, but it's much bigger than one person. That's why we're here tonight. Uh, so it's, it's definitely bigger than, there's a, there's a lot of me's out there. There's a lot of me's, not just perhaps Christians, but millions of people out there doing incredible groundbreaking work just to bring people closer together over food, over conversation, just to break the ice so we can actually start properly educating one another. I'd also like to give a huge shout out to Dr. Debbie. Dr. Debbie, I have one young girl, and God willing, in February, we'll be accepting another beautiful baby girl into our world. And as a dad of girls, the work that you have done, not just to empower our communities, but to empower women. And the MCN, if you look at the website of the About Us, it's all women. And I love that. And that's so incredibly important. I would also like to praise the MCN for standing for invaluable and quintessentially important American values. And there are also Islamic values, and there are also Christian values. We have to uplift our civic nation. The idea that anyone can be an American and that what unites us are principles outlined in our laws. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, the right to participate in a democracy, the right to be heard, the right to have a fair trial. If we don't have these things, we cease to exist as Americans. So I would like to... So I would like to, everyone hear me? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, total praise for MCN for the incredible work that they're doing. So this is an interfaith award, and I'd like to just briefly say a little bit on the interfaith angle, and it's documented in the book, The Humanity of Muhammad, A Christian View. And you know, when, before I got on this flight yesterday, I asked myself, what book do I want to read on the plane? And I picked up a book by a Christian scholar named Gary Wills. Has anyone heard of Gary Wills? He's a really popular, okay, so we see some hands going up. And the book is called, What Jesus Meant. What Jesus Meant. And in this book, Dr. Wills created the acronym what would Jesus do? WWJD. What would Jesus do? And the way that Dr. Wills explains Jesus' calling is very challenging. Dr. Wills is saying Jesus was dealing with the people on the periphery of society, the people that had been forgotten, neglected, the people that other people looked down upon, and that really challenged me. And I wrote in my book, I said, well, that reminds me of Prophet Muhammad. And I've written in previous uh, pieces of scholarship, one way of thinking about Prophet Muhammad is through another acronym called I IWA, Identification with All of Humanity. Iowa, identification with all of humanity. That's what Jesus would do. He would identify with all of humanity as well. So the book that you have there, there's a couple themes in there that really get to the heart of the vision of the MCN. This includes uplifting the civic nation. Prophet Muhammad created in 622, if you can believe that, 622, the idea of a civic nation, and it's documented in the Constitution of Medina. 
Prophet Muhammad, as I wrote about in the book, was not merely a non-racist. He was an anti-racist. He actually actively took measures with his life, with his energy, with his words, with his deeds, to not just talk the talk, but walk the walk. And then, of course, Prophet Muhammad not merely tolerating people of other faiths, but actively engaging with them, getting to know them at a deeper level. And this is the work that the MCN is doing. This is the work that can help us create the best type of nation that we can possibly create. These are our Islamic values. These are our Christian values. These are our American values. All of these things can be whole. They can coexist with one another. And finally, I'd also like to thank our other awardees, Imam Khalid Latif, semi-jealous. You've met Pope Francis. I haven't. <laughs> Maybe one day. Sheikh Jaffer, Dr. Sira, and all of friends, Emre, Ola, Iman Duchesne, my student from France, is here. I don't know where you are, Iman. Hi, Iman. So, just to encourage Dr. Debbie, keep the faith, keep the hard work, and all of you who are also engaged in similar work, just keep it up, and let's continue the, the good fight. So thank you all again for this beautiful Thank you.